Hey, welcome back everybody. It's time for another full tutorial and playthrough of this table, class of 1812. This was requested by one of my viewers, Milbrand, and that's exactly what we're gonna do right here, right now, on Digital Victory. What a cool table. Love the art. Very reminiscent to me of Data East tables and Data East art. Check out the heart and the gums there. The teeth that clack. The hand. How cool is that? Very cool table. This is Class of 1812. This is a Gottlieb table from 1991 and it met with limited success. There was uh, just under 1,700 of these made. This is the VPX version. Now, there is also a version that came with the Legends Pinball. Now, my preference is the VPX table. If you don't have the OTG connection with your PC and you're not into the uh, VPX and future tables and you only have the Legends version, all these tips still apply. It's all appropriate for the Legends Pinball table as well. This table is similar in theme to Monster Bash in that it's about supernatural monsters. Okay, that's the theme of this table. And it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of humor built into it. Not to be taken too seriously. Uh, it, it's, quote, frightful fun for all ages. Now, the idea is it's a reunion of your long-dead classmates. And that's going to be the object of the game, which we'll get to in a bit. It has a traditional layout. You know, you got rollovers up top. You got ramps typical pop bumpers. You have an orbit on the left there. There's drop targets on the left, drop targets on the right. Over here, there's the door prize, which is your basic random award kicker. You have some white targets next to that that you knock out, and you got your traditional in lanes and out lanes. So like I said, the object is to resurrect your dead classmates, okay? You got Willy Wolf, Belly, Vamp de Tramp, Peter Piecemeal, and Mumsy-in-Law. You do that by lighting up all the bonus lights there. Again, we'll get to the details of that in just a second, but along the way, you'll, you'll you know, in addition to getting your bonuses, you'll increase the bonus multipliers, you'll earn multi-balls and extra balls, all that fun pinball stuff. We'll start with the initial plunge there, you, your skill shot. Okay, the ball goes up and it goes over those rollovers there to the left of it to the far left of the rollovers is what's called the crypt and if you can hit it with just the right amount of power instead of bouncing back and forth and going down a rollover it'll slip into the crypt there for a million points now an extra game is awarded for nine million so if you can get a couple of skill shots uh, along the way that's it's a big chunk of uh, points out of the way towards that nine million now the rollovers themselves you see them there's three of them Typical pinball rollovers, you know, you light them all up and that will increase your bonus multiplier. Very traditional in that sense. Now, one of the most important aspects about lighting those bonus lights and getting those bonus multipliers is that the bonus multipliers carry over between the balls. So shoot it up that left orbit constantly to drop down those rollovers to increase your bonus multipliers. Because if you can get that up to a four or five X, you're gonna score a lot of points. So when you have it up to two times or three times and you die, when your next ball starts, you'll already be at that two or three times bonus and just be building on that. Also, this is a solid state table, so it's a little more modern, and it's just one of these kind of rollovers that when you do get one lit up and the ball's bouncing around and they're ready to fall through, you can manipulate that lit lane with the flippers and bump it over so you're falling down an unlit lane. That's pretty cool. The left orbit there, that's called the battle meter, okay? You have that little chart up above to the left there, and I'll zoom in close for you. And those are the different prices you get when you shoot it up there. Now, which one of those is lit? That's determined by these three white targets in the middle there next to the door prize. If you hit all three of those targets, it elevates the battle meter goal one notch up that you'll achieve. And as you can see, there's extra ball up there, so it's pretty important. Another important thing about that left orbit though is it drops the ball over those rollovers. And that's, and that's actually something I chase in the game 
a lot more than the battle meter targets to be honest with you uh, if it happens to be lit and I get one great I'm usually going up the orbit though to try and drop it in to increase my bonus multiplier now on the left side of the table here you got these four drop targets okay zombies drop targets when you knock all of them out it will show a light on one of those spots with its with another target behind it and when you hit that it lights up the light crypt light there on the right ramp that blue big light you shoot it up there to lock a ball to start your multi ball it's a two ball multi ball and the jackpots are up that left ramp there that left ramp will grant you a million points every time you hit it up there in addition to the million points you get shooting it up that ramp during a multi ball you can shoot it into that door prize saucer for 500k <laughs> to me that's a mighty prize for a relatively easy shot uh, that left ramp's pretty easy, but the door prize saucer is even easier. Now I mentioned that door prize there. The door prize is that little saucer there, and it's your typical random award generator that, that many tables have. You know, it can grant you lots of things. You might get an instant multi-ball, you light up the extra ball light, you increase your bonus multiplier, you might get certain points, 50 grand, 10 grand, things like that. One thing to remember about that door prize is early in the game it's almost always going to award you light extra ball so keep that in mind it's not quite so random as they lead you to believe if you can aim for it right away and light that extra ball light you'll see it lit over the rollovers up top which grants you a great measure of safety playing the ball there's a lot less stress when you know you got an extra ball in your pocket to start with also like i mentioned you can shoot it up there to start that two ball multi ball but don't do that until you light that extra ball light Light the extra ball, then get your multi-ball, then you're bound to get one knocked through. Now some final details. These right drop targets are Grover's Millions. All right, you knock all those down, and then once again, similar to the left side, you'll have one that's still lit up, and you can hit that spot for a million points, but I don't recommend it. I don't chase those. I don't go after those. I've had terrible luck falling down these side aisles every time I try and do that. Your mileage may vary. By all means, <laughs> go for it. Uh, to me, there's a lot better ways to score that seem a lot less dangerous. There is a post between the flippers, by the way. It doesn't seem particularly effective, though. I don't know. You know, it's just so rare to come straight down the middle. It usually comes in from a slight angle. I don't know. But the post rarely saves me. The out lanes, by the way, are extremely dangerous. I die more in those than anything else. Anytime the ball is going anywhere near there, I'll give it a quick bump or nudge to try and get that ball away from those side out lanes because... Uh, they're a major danger. I think I mentioned to you, you get a free game at 9 million. And not that free games mean anything in virtual pinball, but I use that as a kind of a yardstick to uh, have a target to go for. I'm not particularly good at this game. I, I've had limited success with it, so that 9 million is going to be my goal. All right. I know there's folks out there that have scored, you know, 90 million, 100 million. Hats off to them. They, those guys have major skills because I have seen. I don't seem to have much luck at all with this, but nine million is my goal. All right, let's do it. I'm uh, gonna take a little off of this plunge, see if we can't make it to the uh, skill shot there. No, too hard. All right, pro tip for you on those plunges, and I'll tell you that in just a second since I get control here. Okay. When you plunge the ball and it goes down the rollovers, be very careful when it goes down the middle rollover. If it goes down the middle, it's likely to go down the middle all the way down. So as it exits that middle rollover, give it a nudge. Once it starts hitting the pop bumpers, you're usually safe. Keep that in mind. Now I'm trying to hit it into that saucer. See if I can't get the uh, extra ball lit. But I'm failing miserably. Oh boy. No matter of luck at all, mate. Ah, there we go. Light extra ball. Hey, there we go. All right. So now I'll try and hit it up that blue light ramp. And I lost the ball. Okay. Not a very good first ball, folks. Ah. 
Same plan, by the way. Ah, now I hit it there. Oh, well. All right, multi ball. You see that, by the way? One important thing to note about this table is that there is no grace period. Door prize, what do we got? Advanced multiplier, cool. So, I had already advanced it to times two, but now I got, actually it was advanced to three with the door prize and I was able to get all three knocked out again. So I'm at four multiplier, which is huge because again, that carries over all the way through the next balls. I'm already on ball two, but hey, I'll take it. So, I'm gonna go for the multi-ball. I got light crypt lit. No. Mm. Tends to be stubborn. countdown mode just to score as much as I can hit as many things as I can so this is the uh, zombie bonus countdown mode I, I believe get up there you notice I got one more rollover up top and I can advance my bonus another notch Yes. No luck though. We're down the wrong one. Shoot. Uh, what do we got here? I'm going for that left bonus again. For the uh, left spinner. I missed it, but that's what I'm going for. Actually, I think I got the multi ball lit again. No. Mm. That was decent though. I had, had over, like a million points on that bonus. So let's do it one more time. Last ball, I'm at 7.7, .7, trying to get to nine. Let's go. Ah, shoot, I botched that skill shot attempt. That would have been helpful. Go for the saucer here. Light extra ball. No, 500k though. It's nothing to sneeze at. Don't mind the multi ball here. Just one. Woof. Just one jackpot would do it. horrible at this. I still got it though, just because I had that times four multiplier. That was horrible, by the way. No, I didn't get it. 8.9. <laughs> God. Wanted to get to 9 mil. I got 8.9. Jeez. Hey, my fault. Terrible play there. What a table. This is fun. Uh, Milbrand, thank you so much for the suggestion here for the tutorial. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Give it a try, guys. I hope the tutorial helps you guys. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.